I wasn't planning on making a video so soon, but uh, might as well, huh? <laughs> so I had another issue where my idle was really high. So the first thing I did was, you know, I got out my brake clean and I was trying to spray all over, trying to get it to where my idle would change, but it wasn't anywhere. So I'm starting to think it wasn't a vacuum leak. Um, of course, do that when your car is cold if you're going to do that. You don't want to spray on like your turbo with it hot and that could go boom, boom, some fire. But, uh, so yeah, I was running out of ideas, but also on my Power FC, it was reading, I'll just show you. Water temp is reading blank, like totally blank. And I couldn't think of why. Then I realized my sensor broke. And uh, I was trying to figure out which one it was. I wasn't sure, so here's a little rundown of them all. So you have one temperature sensor up here in the front. So reference engine. You have this guy right here. And this front one is just your warning on the on your gauge cluster. So like if you're out, it'll do a really loud, annoying noise if you're low on coolant. I don't know why mine's not doing it right now, but so that's what that one does. And it'll you know put the light up on your dash. Then the one on your gauge cluster, I won't be able to show you it, but it's down right here on the side by the spark plug. It's like underneath the oil filter and stuff. It's right there somewhere, because you can't really and take out stuff so you can get to it. So that water temperature sensor is supposed to be for your gauge. So it'll actually show what temperature you're at on your gauge. And then this is the one for the ECU. And it is the back side, it goes right here where my finger is. I actually broke mine completely off. And then there's one more a little lower. So there's one even lower. So there's one there. That lower one, I believe, is for your fans. Um, I'm not 100% sure, because I thought the temperature, the one for your ECU is for your fans. And I don't think my fans have turned on. But um, I am pretty dang sure that my idling problem is because my temperature sensor is gone. So I went and I ordered one, and it was gonna be late. So I went to another store and bought one. I actually ended up getting the wrong sensor. So um, it was the same plug. It looked just like this. Focus. So this should be the right sensor. But anyway, I got the wrong sensor. So it screws right in. I clipped it in. Then on my ECU, it was showing, you know, it's in Celsius, but it was showing like negative 40 degrees celsius or negative 60 i can't remember it was like really cold and uh my car wouldn't start i'm like how could that be here's a little clip of it in action okay ignore that last video what's up with this temperature sensor unplugged it idles perfect the second i plug it in it won't start and it dies out look at this So that's what happens if you have the wrong one. So here is the right one. Um, you should probably post up the part number, huh? Wouldn't that be helpful? Uh, hold on. Back out here. So I got this one, NTK. And here's the part number. So. Um, the difference between the two I got was the plug and everything was the exact same. It didn't come with a, because there's a O-ring here, I should say a washer. It, it, it didn't come with a washer, it came with an O-ring, which was different. And then also, focus. and then it was just a hair long, uh, shorter. This one's a little longer, that one was just like down to about here. And I'm assuming that's for the other temperature sensor. So, 
I go and I plug this one in, and I haven't started it yet, but the temperature went way higher. Let me show you. So I just plugged it in, just sitting there. The temperature's gone. That's where it was last time I did it before I um, got it running. So I'm going to screw it in and then we'll come back and try to... All right, so I put it in. It's actually uh, pretty tough to get in there. I uh, take off this hose so I can get to it. It's a 19 as a size and it's a pain in the ass. If you're going to... If yours breaks or fails, I'll just break the tip off and just use a socket. It's way easier to get off. Let's see if this fixed the car. I'm gonna try to start it up. I guess I can move my light. That means it's low. All right, everything's out of the way. I just put more coolant in. And then also, since my swap, whoa, they're off. Oh, hold on here. I was about to say. See those lights? Those lights have been on since I did the swap, and I didn't know it was related to the sensor. So I guess when that sensor breaks, those lights turn on too. Very cool. This is exciting. Let's see if it starts. Oh, yeah. Start right up. Oh. Now this is exciting. sensor fails, um, the car idles like crap, and uh, if you don't have a sensor at all, it idles really high, and it, uh, those lights are on on the dash, oh this is great, what's my idle at, 1700, um, I'm going to let it warm up and hopefully the temp or the idle goes down, See you in a minute. Well, it did fix pretty much everything except my idol is still high. So, I gotta figure out a way to figure out what that is. Um, I don't know why, but it feels like the turbo is spooling up a little earlier. I'm getting it like right at four instead of five. So, that's cool. Fifteen hundred. 